What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. A lot of you guys have been asking me for the Liga MX players. So let's crack on and go straight into it. So these Liga BBVA MX players, there's a couple of players in here that I want to talk about. But for all intents and purposes, lads, I just don't know, man, if these are worth spinning for. Unless you are kind of starting off or else you want to play with kind of a different squad. There are some beasts in here, especially with the Showtime uh, characteristics that they do have with the boosters. So these players that have got the kind of the fire in them, uh, and they got the fire on the cards, these all have boosters. You can see there that they've got a booster on, they have different ones. This guy's got passing plus two. Um, there's no activation cause for this, it just happens at all times, it's activated at all times. And Drada, the keeper, is not that good, we'll get into him in a second. This guy here, Quinonus, this guy's a fairly decent player as an attacking uh, option as a center forward he's just got very poor balance and tight possession but we'll get into all of these and they're included with this pack right so i'm going to skip a couple of these players but we're going to head over to eFootball db and just give you a very quick brief rundown of these because a lot of people have been asking me about them this guy is just your traditional defensive fullback i don't think that he's good enough um for where the game is at at the moment honestly uh, i i just feel like that you have to pump in a lot into his defending to make him a little bit kind of um, worth it. If you are going to be giving him a lot of stats, you can make him very, very fast. I know that you can make him very fast if you want to, um, but his player skills and everything else that come into it don't really do it for me, right? So we will take a look here. This is the build that we've gone for down the left-hand side of the screen. Two into passing, eight into dribbling, four into dexterity, 14 into defending, and seven into lower body. Now, if you do not need to defend that much with him, you can actually just track this back at 78 and pop the rest into dexterity and get a really, really nice kind of like zippy kind of player where you can have pretty much a player that is able to get up and down the pitch. Not the best passer, not the best dribbler, but certainly won't let you down as a defensive option. I just personally feel that Wambasaka, his GP Wambasaka, is still better than this guy. Same with this guy here, Brunetta, right? So this guy actually has a booster this guy gets a booster here this guy Brunetta we're not even going to pay any attention to the goalkeepers lads if a goalkeeper doesn't have low punt and long throw and also can't get to 90 in three stats I just don't waste my time with him no offense to anyone that has that goalkeeper this Brunetta guy has got a booster as well he's got plus passing plus two uh heel trick soul control he's got some nice uh passing skills he's got also got visionary pass which is a booster skill or a showtime skill that you see here honestly i don't feel like this guy is going to be that bad he will be probably one of those players that you'll be look is he going to be better than song crescent that you got for free i personally don't think so like there's no point in spinning for these type of players unless you have your heart set on spinning for him there's a big difference between spinning for a mario because he's going to be absolutely unbelievable or spinning for color both have a place in your squad if you want to spin for those players or people that spun for Cantona instead of spinning for one of the Messi packs. Me, people wanted to play with Cantona. So this guy, the build that we've gone for for him here, very, very simply, 0, 11, 10, 13, and 3. We'll also take a look at Sanchez here, who's down as a CMF. You can see the stats there. I'm not really going to go into it too much, lads, because honestly, these cards are kind of more about kind of playing with cards that you want to play with. You know, they're lacking a lot of player skills. There's a lot of work that needs to go into them. So this is the build that we have for him there. I'll leave it up on the screen. Pretty decent all around. We also have this guy. So this guy is worth talking about because he has the booster. You're going to be getting a lot of nice stats. 90 finishing. Physical contact's going to be 90. You're going to have acceleration over 90. Um, tight possession and balance is what really kills this card. And also the fact as well that if you are using a center forward, you kind of need to have your center forward as one of your main focal points. Now he does have some nice stats. He doesn't have first time, or he does have first time shot, but he doesn't have a lot of stuff if you are used to playing with silky smooth center forwards. He doesn't have double touch. He doesn't have ball roll. He does have first time shot and acrobatic finishing. He has chip shot control, but he doesn't have long range curler. Um, he's got a couple of those uh, stats that you would like, but I honestly don't think that he's worth spinning for as a goal poacher within this system. But he does have unwavering form, so I know some people will like him. We've also glossed over this goalkeeper. Same issue. This goalkeeper's got low punt and long throw. Not a bad option with low punt as a player skill and long throw and penalty saver. With the booster, he's still not going to get up into those 90s, so we've kind of ignored him for that large part. Um, and lads, look, I'm not going to spend too much time this is the other player that we have here as a right winger. You've got pace, you've got uh, speed, 
Uh, any player, any winger that can get into 90 with tight possession, balance and acceleration is going to be a beast on the wing if you just dribble with him um, and use him for that. You're not going to be scoring goals or passing that much with him. Rotundi as well. This guy has got some fairly nice stats, including stamina, balance and speed all into the mid 80s as well as the rest of his stats. And of course, he's got that acceleration. There's the build we've gone for there with him. Alvarado. So this guy is the one I actually got. This, this is a nice card, man. This Alvarado card. He kind of made me stand up. We actually did spin him. And he doesn't have that many player skills, but he has fighting spirit and double touch, which is more than enough for a Roman flank. Roman flanks kind of cut in. They're different to pro uh, prolific wingers. So they are worth a kind of a second guess. Obviously, Salah's probably the best Roman flank at the moment, in my opinion. Vinny Jr. as well. Um, there's some fairly nice things about this card that I like. But yeah, I don't think because like these cards uh, take a lot of training points and stuff, I do feel like it all comes down to how you build them. So 0, 5, 12, 10, 12, that's going to give you a fairly monstrous card. The tie possession is going to be a little bit low for this card. Um, but I do like the fact that he's got a better, better passing stats than most players in this position of his. Um, and then last but not least, we've got these two boys down here. Horta, who we've gone for a build with here as a left winger. Pretty much rinse and repeat boys that we've already seen a lot of times. Acceleration, tie possession, both into the 90s. Dribbling over 90, but the balance and the speed lets him down slightly unless you're using him as a cut and run center kind of, or right winger. He's a Roman flank as well as you see there. And then last but not least, we have got left back Angelo. So this guy is more of a defensive option with the aggression, the defensive awareness. You can actually just pop, I would say, eight into defending and then pop the rest into lower body. If you've got 10 hag, this guy is going to have a fairly nice card. I mean, obviously, he's going to be showtime as well. So you will get that booster with him. His booster is going to be to speed, stamina, balance, and of course, acceleration. So that's going to give you with this build that we have here, um, that's going to give you a plus six, but you won't need to go plus six on this if you've got 10 hag. If you don't want to go that route, if you've got 10 hag, you literally only need to go that with him because he's going to be getting the extra boost with that as well as the manager boost with the booster boost. So it is going to be interesting to see how these players perform. If you are looking at a player like that with 10 hag, you're going to be getting a plus three here. Um, with the manager boost to speed and of course you're going to be getting his booster boost which is plus five so that opens up a couple of possibilities you're going to have 85 aggression you're going to have all his defensive stats in the 80s speed acceleration balance and stamina are going to be all fairly nice as well physically he's quite decent as well i would probably pop the three more into tight possession but listen lads for all intents and purposes man if you are using these cards honestly speaking honestly about it if you're using these cards there is kind of a side to it that you're using cards that are kind of non-meta, that are going to be like favored by you. I'm using Louis Binbin Bin at the moment. He's an absolute monster. I use Collar a good bit. I'm using Free Neymar on my road to glory with the free to play. Beastly, beastly card. There's a lot to like about the cards. But honestly, I do feel that like these cards are kind of somewhere between, you know, having fun playing the game and trying different cards. So let me know if you guys enjoy using these cards. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I will be back very soon. Until then, peace.